What is going on guys, one more stay break guys, a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. This video is not one I thought I was going to be making, at least not four weeks into the season, but you know, it's 2020, expect the unexpected, should have seen it coming. Um, if you haven't, um, it's a little bit late upload today, but it's because I wanted to wait so I could hear what the press conference has said, and um, yeah, Dwayne is now a third string quarterback. Dwayne was our starter for the first four games. Um, wasn't going to be starting for the rest of the season, but now he's a third string. Kyle Allen's going to be starting Sunday, and Alex Smith is going to be the backup. Now, first things first, I was like, Kyle Allen's quarterback going forward. This is a diff this, there's some things that I have to say first. Um, Kyle Allen knows the offensive scheme. He was the offensive coordinator for us this year was the one in Carolina last year. And if you remember, that's where Kyle Allen also was. He was in Carolina, so he's familiar with the system and play calls. Um, he has said today that he's not totally used to our, our um, people like Terry McLaurin, Logan Thomas, Steven Sims, Gandy Golden, that whole list of guys. Um, but, you know, he feels confident that he'll be ready to go. So, yeah, you know, that makes sense, you know, if you're going to put another guy in. But I wouldn't – I mean, he could ball out. I remember when he came out in Cal in Carolina last year, the first couple games, I mean, he was balling out. Like, he was five – like, so many games without throwing an interception. And he was just touchdowns left and right, 500 yards, 400 yards, 200 yards. Passing, you know, give credit where credit's due. But – Unless he goes out and wins games, I think this is just a transition period. I'm not a fan of the move I'm about to say. I think it's interesting, but for you know, I always say I care about the player off the field more than I care about them on the field. Um, I'm pretty shit this off season when I said I did not want Jordan Reed or Alex Smith returning the football. They both return. Alex Smith uh, um, is our backup right now, and Jordan Reed is out six to eight weeks with a knee sprain. So. I think this is just a transition period because um, Redskins uh, social media head uh, Julie Donaldson said this morning that they they have faith in Alex Smith that he can go out and win games. Remember when he started, we were six and three. We were six and three when he started until he got hurt. We went one and one and seven. It's crazy. And like one man doesn't make that much of a difference. Yes, he does because who can pick apart the defense? Who can help drive that ball down the field better than others? who's better at taking over the offense. Um, Alex Smith is. I think they see Alex Smith possibly coming back to be the starter. You know, we were paying him a hefty contract. It's five years, 75 million, or the 90 million, 75 guaranteed. It's something like that. So, he, the fact that we wouldn't try to play him is crazy. <clears throat> if he's playing, if he's, I'm not a fan of it. A lot of Redskins fans are not, or Washington fans are not fans of it because we want the best for Alex. We don't want him going back out there because if he gets hurt, we don't know how that leg's going to sustain. Because Scott Turner, our offensive coordinator, said today he hasn't been hit in practice because they don't allow anybody to get hit in practice or taken to the ground, which is smart because day and age, everybody's getting hurt. You can't afford that. You, you know, you could lose somebody to COVID and you need that next guy up. Nobody is irreplaceable now. Um, you know, Everybody, everybody's all in this together. The intern in the weight room has to buy into all this. So nobody gets COVID, nobody gets hurt. So you you have to realize that nobody can get tackled in practice, but that's a whole different subject. Um, so back to Alex Smith, I'm not a fan of it. If you watch Project 11, you just want him to keep that leg for life. We'll see. You know, I think it's interesting. If they have confidence that he can go in and play a game, then screw it. I'll I'll back him up. I say I have confidence in Alex. Go forward with that. We'll see how it goes. But I don't. I just don't see a really good outcome for this. But Rivera said it. You know, the fans are going crazy. Like this was not the right move with Dwayne. Dwayne should have stayed. Dwayne should have kept going. I agree. I mean, I have freaking poster of Dwayne right here. I'm talking a picture of me with Dwayne. I'm a big supporter, man. I've been a big supporter. If you've been watching this since I started back in March, you know that I am so pro Dwayne Haskins. But maybe he's only played, what, 13 games, I think? Something like that. 
13 games, three head coaches, no off season this year, and just no preseason. So it, it really made the season the worst for Dwayne, and I think it's best for Dwayne to sit back. Is this the end of the road for Washington and Dwayne? No, I don't think so. We could see. I wouldn't have been surprised if we see Dwayne later this season. Maybe in a few weeks. He just needs to sit back, watch, examine those mistakes. Because Scott Turner and Rivera both said um, the mistakes he was making were not getting fixed. They were becoming repetitive. They were being done over and over and over again. And that's understandable. If the guy's making the same mistake, you don't just keep him in. You go, you test a whole new direction, see what happens. If it doesn't go well, well, then you know Dwayne's a guy. If he does go well, then maybe it's for the best. Um, I do think um, Alex Smith will be playing in the next several weeks. I do believe we'll see some action of him, maybe a half. You know, I don't know. Maybe Kyle Allen will start off hot and then tie off. And they're like, well, Alex, get on in there. And what a tremendous moment that will be. Um, I might tear up a little bit. But, uh... I think this is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be, it makes it makes it exciting for Sunday. If you're a Washington fan, you should be excited. I know we're all heartbroken for Dwayne. Dwayne is heartbroken. I know. If you saw videos of him at practice today, he's just kind of standing there with his arms crossed and just kind of like this passive. He's not really really participating in anything. So you know, you know what's you know you know there's a lot of crap going on through his head. And he's really probably down on himself. And, and it's all about how he comes back from this. You know, you don't take this and be like, darn, it's all over. Take this and be like, all right, what did I do wrong? What can I do better? What can I improve on? Let's move forward with that. That's what Dwayne needs to be thinking right now. Um, if we want to have, if he wants to have a chance of coming back this season or at all, because he could be a bust. If he doesn't come back and prove anything this season, he could be a bust. Now, the weird thing is about the whole timing. Uh, Rivera said that he had a leash basically on Haskins and I'm not gonna get into that whole talk about the leash for a quarterback like Dwayne that was happening on Twitter today I'm not getting involved in that at all but but oh, I lost my train of thought I'm sorry talking oh yes yeah, it said you know make the same mistakes doing and Dwayne just needs to sit back and observe. And so Dwayne needs to you know how does he come back from this? Because he might not come back from this if he doesn't take the right steps. I mean he's maybe get a trainer or work uh, the NFL protocol is tough, but you know, approved settings and stuff, social distance, all that. Um you know, it's just gonna be I just sort of felt bad for Dwayne. I felt bad for Dwayne all day. It's kind of been on my mind all day. Feeling just bad for him and know that he, I know that he's hurt. This is definitely something that hurt him. Um, you know, they told him to it this morning because they said they told Kyle Allen this morning. So I'm guessing the same for Dwayne. And Rivera was very unapologetic in his in his press conference. Some people were shocked by that, but really, why would you be? Um, the best way to um, Ron Rivera put it. And it's and it made sense, and I understood it. He said, "Look, the players love Dwayne, but you're not seeing their reactions on the sidelines." And what he's saying by that is, when Dwayne makes those mistakes, because we're we're in these games, we haven't had a game where we weren't in at some point. But some of these small small things Dwayne Dwayne does, and it just costs us the game, like the fourth the fourth and very long and goal on the 13 yard line. He did a check down. You risk that interception. You throw it. That's who said that today? Was that Scott? Was that Rivera? Was that a fan? Somebody said that today. But when you go in that fourth and thirteen, you know you risk the interception because either you make it or you're giving the ball back to him anyway. So risk that interception. Throw to Terry, who was in front of him. Terry might have caught it. I mean, Terry is a freaking amazing receiver. So why? I would not say he wouldn't have caught it. But um, you know, I'm just heartbroken for Dwayne. I, I know. This is gonna be something you'll have to get over, but you know, this proves how how bad does he want this? How bad does he want to be that starting quarterback of the Washington team? And this will prove it. This will prove it. And it's and it's because the team wants to buy in, the team is bought in. Ron fans and media said this is a developmental year for the Washington football team. Dwayne not Dwayne. 
Ron is saying, look, we have the ability to win now. So let's do it. And he said, you know, if we if the division wasn't so bad this year, let's say we were one and three and they were all three and one, four and oh, you know, two and two, it'd be a different story. You know, they would let Dwayne play out the season to see what happens. But we have a chance to take the division. Our division is so bad, we had the chance to take it. So Rivera notices that and realizes that Dwayne is not in the position for us to win the division right now. Maybe that's the truth. I don't know if Kyle Allen is, but I mean, I feel confident in Alex Smith. I don't know how his legs gonna hold up, but I mean, from if if he just comes back and plays like he used to, he's gonna be a freaking amazing guy to come in and lead us to possibly to a wild card. So it's gonna be absolutely bonkers what happens. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna make it exciting for Sundays. So I, I feel like I have to say this all the time. If you're a Washington fan, don't jump off the train now. It's only getting started. It's a long road ahead. Cause I feel like I have to remind fans that, you know, don't jump off the train. Don't jump off the train. We still got time. It's a whole new year. Whole new Rivera. So, I hope you all took this. And I made sure that I listened to all the coaches' perspectives before I made this video. And it's all about winning now and having everybody buy in. Because Rivera's probably worried, as close not only that he was worried he could lose the locker room had he kept Dwayne in. So, hope you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button to like this video. Make sure to hit the bell button so you know that every single time I upload a brand new episode of Washington Station. Hope you have a great day. Remember, um, support our coach. We're very strong as he's going through these weeks of um, cancer recovery and cancer treatment. And um, hope you have a great day. Stay safe. And I'm a Morris, and you just watched Washington Station. And I'm out.